Tuberculosis, or TB, is perceived as an ancient disease, but it has never disappeared and remains a serious public health threat that poses a significant global disease burden. TB killed 1.3 million people globally in 2012, with 8.6 million falling ill with active disease. Three million of these individuals were never diagnosed, and as a result, they weren't treated and helped spread the bacteria, which can travel from person to person through coughing, sneezing, even singing. TB is sneaky. It can lie dormant or latent for years in the lungs of unsuspecting victims. One third of the world's population is estimated to be infected with this asymptomatic and non-contagious form of the disease. But once activated, TB wreaks havoc on the body, leading to a painful death if left untreated. The U.S. isn't immune to the problem. Nearly 10,000 TB cases were reported here in 2013. Four states, California, Florida, New York, and Texas, account for more than 50% of all U.S. TB cases. The majority are among foreign-born individuals who enter the country with latent TB infection that eventually activates to TB disease. TB also threatens the health and future economic development of important U.S. partners, emerging economies like China, India, and South Africa. And in many places, the TB bacteria is evolving to become resistant to first and second line drugs. These multi and extremely drug resistant bacteria make TB more deadly and treatment much more expensive, difficult, and time consuming. TB also threatens PEPFAR, the flagship US program to fight HIV AIDS. The US spent more than $50 billion on it between 2003 and 2013. The program currently keeps almost 7 million people alive on HIV treatment. Co-infection with TB is common among people with HIV, resulting in one in four HIV AIDS related deaths. In 2012, there were more than 1 million new TB cases in HIV positive individuals, with more than 320,000 HIV associated TB deaths. Despite the continuing TB threat, there have been significant improvements. Global TB deaths have dropped by 45% since 1990, and the U.S. has seen falling infection rates over the past two decades. But to keep those numbers going in the right direction, more money and high-level political leadership are needed to reverse rising drug resistance and better manage high rates of TB-HIV co-infection. We also need to identify and treat the estimated 3 million undiagnosed cases and invest in the research and development of new tools to fight TB. The consequences of leaving TB unchecked are severe. Drug resistance strains health systems and directly threatens the United States. Undiagnosed cases facilitate the continued spread of the disease, and TB-HIV co-infection threatens the U.S. PEPFAR legacy. The conclusion? The United States should take a more strategic and better coordinated approach to fighting TB in order to protect U.S. residents from this deadly disease and to save lives, both at home and abroad. Thank you.